Welcome to the video guys, it is great to see you here for Licked. My name is Jay Yulofsky and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an audio visualizer that looks a little something like this. In DaVinci Resolve, so let's jump into the video. So to create this audio visualizer here in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna need to go and download a third party plugin and then we're gonna be able to animate our logo to the beat of the music and Resolve is gonna be able to do all that for us. So if you check the description below, I'm gonna leave a link to where you can go download this third party plugin. But for now, we're gonna jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how to download it and get it installed on your machine, bring it into Fusion, and then we're gonna create that uh, cool clip that you saw a minute ago. All right, so like I mentioned, if you check the description below of this video, you should find a link down there that'll bring you right to this page here. And Reactor 3 is what we wanna download. So you're gonna to come to this page. You wanna scroll down a little bit and when you get down a little bit you'll see this right here reactor installer so go ahead and click on that file it's going to download it once you download that file we're going to head on over to davinci resolve and i'll show you how to bring it in all right so you should have that file jump into davinci resolve and the first thing i'm going to do is come to my uh, effects library down to effects and i'm just going to drag a blank fusion clip onto my timeline i'm going to select it and jump over into the fusion tab once you're in the Fusion tab, you want to go over and find that file that you downloaded. For me, that file is in my Downloads folder, and just click on that file and drag and drop it into the Fusion tab. You're going to see a window pop up that says Install Reactor, and go ahead and say Install and Launch. It's going to go ahead and install a bunch of stuff for you, and then you should be set to go. Once the installation is complete, you're going to see this window here, which is the Fusion Reactor. And this has tons of third-party plugins here that you can go through and check out. But the one you want to look for, and if you search up here, you can type in Suck Less, which kind of sounds a little weird, but hey, that's what they named it. So come down, you'll see it right here, Suck Less Audio. And you want to make sure that is checked on. Once it's checked on, you can go ahead and close this window and you're all set. Come back to your Fusion tab, and now you want to bring whatever it is you want to animate into the Fusion tab. So I'm going to come to my media pool. I have the Licked logo here gonna bring it down into Fusion. I'm gonna connect it up to my media out. The next thing I wanna do is select your input here and then add a transform node. So you select it, hit transform, it drops it in there. Next, you select your transform. You can come over to size and right click on your size, come down to modify width and you're gonna see audio wave. Select that. Now you're gonna be able to animate whatever it is you brought in, in this case my logo, I can animate that to music. One thing to note is that the music needs to be a WAV file, .wav file. Otherwise this isn't gonna work. Not gonna work with an MP3, so you're gonna to need to convert it to a WAV file. All right, so now that I got it in there, I can play through and I see, okay, nothing's happening yet. So keep your transform node selected here, come up to modifiers in your inspector, and we want to select a WAV file. So I'm gonna to come to browse, once you click browse, go find your file you want to use. And remember, it's got to be a WAV file. I'm going to click on that. And now let's go to the beginning of my clip and play through and see what happens here. Okay, so it's making it react to that music, even though I can't hear the music yet, because it's sampling that file. So how do I get the music to match with my logo here? Well, let's come back into the edit tab. And I know that this is the same song that I'm using, so I'm just going to copy this right over. But you could just drag it down from your media pool, drop it in there. We're going to let this render a second. And now I'm gonna go back and play it and you'll see it animate to the beat. And if you come back over into the Fusion tab here and look down our inspector, you've got all kinds of different things that you can adjust here to change the way that your animation looks on the screen as it reacts to the music. And you can go through and just play with all these different things and find out what works best for your project. All right, guys, there you go, creating an audio visualizer right here in DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty easy. I think you do it. You should have no problems. But if you do, feel free to leave a comment down below, and we'll see if we can help you out. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like this content and you want to see more like it. If you're looking for some music for your projects or your videos for YouTube or whatever you might be working on, head on over to the Lick website, check them out, and see what they have to offer. For Lick, my name is Jay Yulofsky, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.